Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Yeah, let's divide this as equation one and this as equation two. And from equation one, which is a plus b equals to eight. Yeah, when we make b the subject, taking a to this side, then we have b equals to eight minus a. Then using this in equation two which is a times b equals to 20. Then we substitute here the value of b, and we have a times 8 minus a equals to 20. That is, a here open this bracket, and we have 8a minus a square equals to 20. Then, when we rearrange from here, we have minus a square, then plus 8a. And taking 20 here, become minus 20 equals to 0 from here. That is here, to remove this minus, we multiply through by minus 1. And here, this becomes a square, then minus 8a plus 20 then equals to 0 from here and here we have the quadratic equation and uh, from the formula here a will now be equals to minus minus 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 20 over 2 times 1 and here this becomes a equals to minus times minus as plus as 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 square that's t 64 then minus here we have 80 then over 2 from here that is here we have a equals to 8 plus or minus square root of 64 minus 80, we have minus 16, then over 2, which implies here we have a equals to 8 plus or minus root 16 times root minus 1 over 2. That is here we have a equals to 8 plus or minus root 16, that's 4, then root minus 1, that's i, over 2. That is, from here, 2 is common from here, and when we factor it, we have a equals to 2 into bracket 4 plus or minus 2i over 2. And these two cancel each other, so we have a equals to 4, plus or minus 2i that is we have two complex solution for a then we can say a1 here equals to 4 plus 2i then the second value which is a2 equals to 4 minus 2i and here we can get the corresponding value of b from the relation b equals to 8 minus a so when we make use of this here then b1 from here will be equals to 8 minus a1 which is 4 plus 2i then minus open bracket here we have b1 equals to 8 minus 4 then minus 2i which become b1 equals to 8 minus 4, that's 4, then minus 2i. And also from there, using this same relation, we have b2 now equals to 8 minus a2, which is 4 minus 2i. Then b2 now equals to 8 minus open bracket, we have minus 4 plus 2i. Then b2 equals to 4 
plus 2i that is here we can write out the solution on this side we have the four set of solution a1 comma b1 here this is same thing as from a1 we have 4 plus 2i then comma b1 we have 4 minus 2i then the second set of solution a2 comma b2 from here a2 from what we have we have 4 minus 2i then comma b2 we have 4 plus 2i so when we check this closely, the value of A here in the first solution is the value of B here in the second solution. Then the value of B here is the value of A here. Now we can check to confirm if the solution here satisfies the given problem. From equation 1, we have A plus B equals to 8. Now let's substitute the first set of solution here we have 4 plus 2i then plus 4 minus 2i is equals to 8 then here plus 2i minus 2i we cancel each other then 4 plus 4 that's 8 which is equals to 8 this implies that it satisfies the first equation here now the second equation which is given as a b that is a times b equals to 20 now let's multiply a times b here we have a as 4 plus 2i then times b as 4 minus 2i is equals to 20 then this follows from perfect square when we have a plus b times a minus b this is same thing as a square minus b square which implies here we have 4 square minus 2i square that is here 4 square is same thing as 4 times 4 which is 16 so here we have 16 then minus into bracket this square affect 2 that's 4 then affect i i square that's minus 1 that's 4 times minus 1 and that's minus 4 so we have 16 minus minus 4 the minus times minus here is plus so we have 16 plus 4 and is it equals to 20 that's what we are checking here and 16 plus 4 here of course that's 20 which is equals to 20 now left hand side also equals to the right hand side and hence from here these two solutions here satisfy the two given equations and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up see you in our next class and bye for now